I'd like to do a full spectrum camera conversion. I currently have a camera converted to a 590 nanometer infrared filter, which allows me to add external filters of higher numbers, such as the Hoya R72, but I can't do cutoffs lower than 590 or full spectrum or the new infrared chrome style filters. So I'd like to try a full spectrum conversion, but of course, cameras are expensive, uh, conversions are even more expensive, and so in researching this and exploring it, I stumbled upon the Kalari Pocket Full Spectrum Converted Camera. And this is really interesting because this is a point and shoot camera that is already converted to full spectrum. So you're, you're purchasing the camera and the conversion and you're doing it actually at a cost that is less than most camera conversions. So a typical conversion is $275. The base price of this is $225. So this is really interesting because you can try out a full spectrum camera at a, a pretty limited cost. The options that you have here uh, are you can buy the, the camera itself with the starter set. You could add an IR chrome filter or you could buy the kit with three extra filters which includes the IR chrome, uh, plus a 665 nanometer and an 850 nanometer uh, cutoff filters. Also with this, you can get an SD card that's already been set up with CHDK. These cameras, you know, they're point and shoot cameras, so they don't normally shoot raw. They, they don't shoot manual. They don't have bracketing. They don't have a lot of controls that you might like in a more professional camera. But CHDK is a tool that allows you to uh, it's, it's sort of like an open source firmware hack that allows you to get access to these capabilities right with a point and shoot camera. And so this is a, a really nice complement to this system because you can now get uh, manual control, you can get raw file format. Uh, bracketing and a whole variety of other features so this is a really nice complement to this and you can you can either get this on an SD card from Kalari uh, with your purchase or you can you can simply download this and add it to a card yourself in addition there's a, uh, a filter pouch uh, that you can get this uh, camera a series of filters you can see with the hot mirror one of the included filters you get uh, the standard view of a camera or with a 590 nanometer filter you'd get this uh, color infrared uh, image and then with a 720 you'd get something closer to a little bit closer to black and white but still a little bit of color in the sky so what I did is I purchased the the full kit uh, the the starter kit with the three filters plus the expansion I passed on the the card since I've got a ton of SD cards and I can just format that myself uh, but then I also added a filter pouch so for me uh, in my purchase basically three hundred and five dollars uh, US which was um, you know not much more than a two hundred and seventy five dollar conversion uh, I paid for this myself um, and so I want to take a, a preview of what this looks like here's the box that I received from uh, Kalari vision with the Kalari pocket so this includes the uh, the camera which has been converted to full spectrum uh, and it includes the hot mirror filter the 590 nanometer filter the 720 and then the additional filters, the, uh, the 665 and the 850. So you can see from the back of the box here, there's sample images, uh, a view of what the, the, an image would look like with the hot mirror filter, an example image with the 590 nanometer filter, an example with the 720. So those are the three filters that come with the base kit. Uh, so we've got the camera, those three filters, uh, one battery, a charger, and a wrist strap, and of course the, the original camera guide that comes with this, the Canon PowerShot ELF 180. Also available is these additional filters. I purchased the additional pack, as I mentioned. Uh, right now the IR Chrome filter is backordered, so I haven't received that yet. So I've got basically the camera and five filters uh, so far. I haven't received the IR Chrome yet, but I expect that'll be coming soon, as soon as it's available the world in a different light. So we've got the getting started guide, which I probably don't need for the PowerShot ELF 180. The uh, PowerShot ELF 180 uh, is a 20 megapixel camera. Uh, it only has a one and uh, two thirds inch sensor in it. Uh, so uh, there's uh, some limits to the, to the image quality we can expect there. So here's the five filters, the 590, the 720, the hot mirror, the 665 and then the 850 
and then we have the wrist strap and the charger. So the camera itself, uh, it's got that um, the smaller sensor. It's about a 5.6x crop factor, so that's pretty pretty small compared to say a typical uh, crop sensor of uh, one. 1.5 or 1.6 factor. A couple changes that Kalari has made to this camera, they've added the threaded filter adapter to allow us to add the various infrared filters to the camera, and they've added a grip. This camera was first introduced in the beginning of 2016, so it's not that old. Uh, it has a focal length range of 5 to 40 millimeters. That's a 35 millimeter film equivalent of about 28 millimeters to 224 millimeters. The maximum apertures run from 3.2, uh, which is not bad, to 6.9 at the longest telephoto length, which is obviously not great. But what's really nice about this camera is it's incredibly lightweight. So it's only about four and a half ounces, about 125 grams, super lightweight, very pocketable and easy to, easy to use. So the, uh, the filters uh, screw on very easily. We've got these 37 millimeter filters um, and um, uh, pretty easy to, to, to manage there. So here's the uh, filter pouch, which is a really convenient way to, uh, to hold the either three filters or if you get four filters or all six filters, this is a really convenient way to hold all these. So what are my expectations uh, for this camera? So what I'm looking for is affordable access to a full spectrum conversion uh, with a variety of filters. Uh, I want something that's lightweight and pocketable, but I understand that the image quality is not going to be the greatest. Uh, 20 megapixels are great, but the 1 over 2 thirds inch CCD with the 5.6 crop, crop factor is not so good. So I understand there's limitations there. Uh, the, the low light performance is probably going to be poor, but that shouldn't be an issue during the daylight when most IR is shot. Um, also, I know that you know the lens uh, for a camera like this is not going to be the greatest, but again, I'm I'm more interested in seeing what we can do with uh, infrared on a budget. So I'm going to take some time and uh, do some shooting with this camera, try out all the various filters, do some comparisons, uh, and in the future I will put out another video with more of a formal review of my findings and what I've learned. But in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this preview of the Kalari Pocket full-spectrum camera, and there'll be more to come. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.